All right, so uh, I'll be talking about cart sleeves, uh, how to over sleeve, why do you over sleeve, uh, what are some nice prominent over sleeves, uh, sleeves in general that I use for my decks. So yeah, uh, I'll first start off with uh, uh, what I usually go with uh, for my Vanguard decks. That is to have a bushu sleeve, bushu small size sleeve. So this is a small sized or Japanese sized sleeve, uh, or rather anime sleeve, actually. And so as you can see, it fits around the. Uh, this is a Vanguard card. This is the uh, small, it's small sized basically. It's Yu-Gi-Oh sized, and so it fits it pretty well, pretty snug. And so that's how it's supposed to be. Yeah, you can just have it like this. But the bad thing about uh, using uh, anime sleeves uh, that has art is that it tends to break or split very easily. And so to counteract that, people oversleeve. And so how do you oversleeve? You take a outer sleeve that is somewhat bigger than the actual uh, sleeved card. And then you just seal the opening as you can see there's an opening here so you use this you seal it just like that and that's how you oversleeve and so that's and so protecting your anime sleeve is one reason why to oversleeve the other reason to oversleeve is so that uh, if anything ever damages oh wait, actually no it doesn't get damaged easily as easily uh, rather and water doesn't really get into the card very easily as well and so that's why you oversleeve and so, uh, this is a Bushiro, uh small sized, uh, mini sized sleeve. So yeah, that's that. And then what I use for the over sleeve is uh, the green Z sleeves that is meant for small sized uh, sleeves slash cards. Basically, this is a standard sized uh, clear sleeve that is really, really hard. These sleeves are really, really hard. They're probably the thickest you can ever find. Uh, best over sleeves you can ever find. Not really best. It's up to, it's up to what you prefer. But uh, the most durable and the most, uh, you know, very thick sleeves as you can see. Can you hear that? Oh, yeah. It's hard to bend them as well. So yeah, it's hard to bend them like this. It's hard to bend them like this. So yes, these are really really hard sleeves, really really nice durable sleeves. However, I do want to mention that uh, if you actually, uh, you know, hand shuffle them really rough or I don't know, do something that really just does uh, damages the sleeve by like, you know, trying to split it, then yes, obviously, uh, this is an old Z sleeve, yes, obviously it will split. Where is it? Hold on. Yeah. You can see. Yes. You can see that split. It's pretty pretty big split. It's it's nothing it's not something you should play with. Mess around with actually. Uh, even though this is a very durable sleeve. You only come with it only comes with 50. And so you really need to cherish those 50 sturdy sleeves. Uh, though they're actually quite hard to split, I don't know how I actually managed to split this sleeve uh, over here. But uh, yes, you, you, you. Will, th these come for pretty cheap as well, so uh, they are pretty worth for what you get. Fifty is enough uh, for your Vanguard deck. Definitely f fine for Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, and so yeah, that's that. And so next, uh, here is a the actual you know big anime, anime sleeve that you will usually see and so yes here's my Varina arcs and so yep same concept of over sleeving however one thing I want to say that uh, is that the Vanguard card is really small compared to the bigger anime sleeves that are standard sized uh, basically for Pokemon uh, magic and whatnot and so yeah, it does uh, definitely wobble around. And so if you don't like that, uh, I prefer I I uh, 
advise you to put a inner sleeve inside and then sleeve it inside here uh, then you add the outer sleeve like that and so then your cut wouldn't move around at all yep but this will make it really thick uh, which is not a good thing uh, for me at least but if you want it not to move then yes uh, this is what you're gonna go with but personally I'm fine with it moving around and it doesn't really move a lot around if you're using the over sleeve that is uh, the red Z sleeves and these over sleeves like I said they're very durable like the green ones but these are probably more durable uh, because of how you know the cut is pretty small compared to the sleeve so you wouldn't you, you wouldn't need to uh, even you being rough on the cart, uh, it, it wouldn't really get it damaged that easily. And so, yep. Uh, oh yeah, I do want to uh, say that if a new pack of Z sleeves is really, really tight, uh, it doesn't matter. You, all, you do, all you need to do is just pinch, make sure you have that opening, and then feed the, the cut through. And then usually, at, uh, like you know at this point of time where it's almost in when you know there's a little part sticking out people will just do this image I'm not a, uh, too big of a fan of and you will uh, find trouble trying to feed this in because you don't want to like you know so all you do is just stick your finger inside feed it in like that don't worry the Z sleeve wouldn't break it's too durable for it to break and so yep that is uh, red Z sleeves and if you don't want to double sleeve or over sleeve you can go with single sleeves and this is one of my favorite single sleeves that is uh, the KMC uh, Hypermat yep yep these are yeah these have the uh, matte back sort of I guess and yep, the, uh, their shuffle feel is really really good when you do the, the side shuffle thing. It feels incredibly good. Uh, it's very smooth. Uh, highly recommend for uh, single, uh, strictly single sleeve people. Yep, because uh, I mean, they they aren't the. I mean, like if you really do want cheap sleeves, you just go ahead and buy clear sleeves for cheap. Definitely, just just go for that. It doesn't matter. I use that on my trial decks and stuff. But uh, as in, like you know, you want to go competitive. This you can actually survive this. And so, yep, these are nice single sleeves. And here's another over uh, mini sized over sleeve. Though yes, you can actually buy the uh, a, a bigger sized over sleeve. But this one that is uh, broccoli sleeves over sleeves that I used after uh, uh, using Z for quite a while yep because I wanted to switch things up a bit and broccoli sleeves are really nice they have the they have the same uh, sort of back as uh, the KMC ones and yep the shuffle feel is also pretty amazing uh, these come in packs of 8 80 not 8 80 so you can sleeve uh, if you're playing premium vanguard you can uh, you can sleeve I, I think your whole entire deck including your jizo and markers so yep uh these also come in small medium and large size usually you just purchase the small and medium you'll never really purchase large as large as some uh, usually too big you use small for uh small size sleeves and medium for you know anime sleeves typical anime sleeves and so, yep, that is my video on sleeves.